Hey, what's up? This is Leland Guyton. I'm coming at you today because we're going to talk about the afterlife. And are we really in it? Or is that just something they made up to have our brains tripping? You know, like that Mandela Effect thing. Because what they say is, in 2012, we passed away. The world self-destructed. But if that's the case, that's weird. Some, that's weird. I think they said that because, you know, they predicted this like years in and years out. The world is going to self-destruct and nothing ever happened. So I guess 2012 came in like, okay, it's the last straw. We're going to tell them that the world self-destructed and they guess they're going to believe us. I mean, because, you know, that's the only thing I could come up with because if the world did, so how did I miss it? Or how did anybody, how, how do they know about it and we don't? That's what I don't understand. How would they know about the world self-destructing and we don't? How do they have that special knowledge and we don't? I don't understand it, but, you know, the info is out there. You can get on YouTube or whatever and find some videos on it. And people really believe that. Just like the Mandela effect, people really believe that. I'm one of them. <laughs> but you know. All right, another thing is the earth being flat. That's kind of crazy. Well, I always thought the earth was flat. I never really believed it to be round because... Why why would the earth be perfectly round? That's that's kind of crazy. That's like just perfectly round. You can look at structures on the earth right now like mountains. There's nothing on the on the earth that is perfectly round. So why would the earth be perfectly round? See, my idea was the earth was shaped like continuous mountains that go on forever. I mean, the reason why I came up with that idea, that theory is because you can look at the mountains today or like undeveloped parts of the undeveloped parts of the land and look and see like nothing but mountains and just think like before anything was developed. That's exactly what the earth looked like. Far from far away, that's exactly what the earth looked like. It's like you can look at mountains from far away and that's how you would see earth from space. Just how you see mountains from far away, that's exactly how Earth would look from space. Like a bunch of mountains, but they hide that from you. That's my theory. It's not a fact or anything. That's just what I believe. Just like they want you to believe that the Earth is round or flat or whatever, I want you to believe that the Earth is shaped like mountains, like continuous mountains. I mean, it sounds more logical than being flat or just perfectly round. I mean, if you see mountains on the earth now, I mean, why wouldn't the earth look like continuous mountains? I don't know, that's just something that got me tripping, you know. Oh, yeah, you can check my music out on SoundCloud. So, you know, I got music out there. So, check this out. A user number, 49278697. The best instrumental you ever heard on earth. I make them. Check this out. 49278697. Nine seven zero. Hit that up on SoundCloud. That's my user number. You know what I'm saying? You will hear some of the best instrumentals you ever heard on planet Earth. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. The user number is four nine two seven eight six nine seven zero. Hit it up. Oh yeah, and if you guys like to read, if there's any readers out there, I wrote a little short story. I wrote a book. It's called Alice and Jay. You can check out out on Booksy.com. That's Booksy.com. B-O-O-K-S-I-E dot com. And the book is Alice and Jay. 
by Leland Geisen. I mean, check that out if you're into reading, so you know. Check out my music, check out my books. Hopefully later on in the future I'll come up with an invention or two. You can check that out. But until next time, you know, think about it because there's a lot to think about.